This is February 6, 2015. I was in court yesterday, and it did not go as I had hoped. I had hoped to appeal to the conscience of Judge Sheila Calloway in Davidson County, Tennessee, in Nashville. And um, I had... I, I just was just so disappointed because... Um, she didn't send me to jail, but I think, I think the reason she, you know, she said it, jail wouldn't do it, it wouldn't do any good to send me to jail. And my adversaries were really pushing for me to go to jail because I had not stopped, um, doing what I was not supposed to be doing. And I just wanted to, her to hear me, you know. So, um, I agreed to change some, change some of my behavior between now and until either she decides that that order I was under was, was unconstitutional. She doesn't care that it's unconstitutional. She made that clear. She, she basically told me that I should not want to be a martyr for the Constitution. And that didn't really... I was, I was kind of, I was having a, I've got fibromyalgia and ADHD and, and, uh, what I, I think what was going on yesterday is more of a fibromyalgia thing. They call it fibro fog and it's, there's a neurological thing and you just, you just kind of more, I'm spacey anyway, but I was just more spacey than usual. And, uh, so it didn't really sink in until overnight what, what she said and what it means, what it, what it. She swore an oath, and I've, I've confronted her about that. I said, you swore an oath. I heard you. on there's a, There was a YouTube video of her swearing in ceremony, which she made a big deal out of, was on the anniversary of the, of the march, um, the civil rights, black civil rights movement march on Washington, 1963. That was, the, that was the anniversary of that was the day she scheduled her swearing in ceremony. She swore to uphold in public to uphold, or she swore to support the Constitution of the United States and to administer justice without respect of persons to the best of her ability, so help her God. And when I was in her court yesterday, to hear her say, I should not be a martyr for the Constitution, and she doesn't care if her orders are unconstitutional, she doesn't care about my child's constitutional rights or my, any, any family's constitutionally protected rights. She believes she has the right to deny them that. I'm called a control freak because I want control of my own life. But the, but the real control freaks who are, who are trying to control, take my liberties away from me and not let me enjoy um, my freedoms under the, the Constitution, I think they're the control freaks. I mean, why, why would you want to con control somebody else? I just want to have, I want my own life. I want to live my life in peace. And I think for anybody to say you should not be, be willing. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really do any good to be a martyr. Nobody should want to be a martyr because if you, if you, if you get put down or you die or you, you're taken out of the race, what, whatever, for whatever reason, basically you're just rendered uh, impotent in your in your fight for whatever you're fighting for but every, I, I, my dad was is a Vietnam veteran and he's retired uh, Army Reserve and I've got a brother who served I've got two brothers who served in uh, Iraq one of them also served in the Navy in the, during the per Persian Gulf conflict I've got a sister and my brother-in-law they served in Iraq my dad was in Vietnam my grandfather was awarded a Purple Heart in World War II. These people were willing to be martyrs. And for someone to say you shouldn't be willing to be a martyr for the Constitution, that is a, you might as well go to Arlington Cemetery and pee on every one of those graves of those soldiers. And no judge who would make such, imply such a, such a thing is not worthy of wearing that robe. She is not worthy of her position. 
Either the Constitution means something or not. And even if she doesn't want to be a martyr for it, even if she doesn't want to even support it in her role as a, as a judge, that we, we the people put her in that position to do her job, to support the Constitution, she's not, will, she, she's not even willing to support it. So, of course, she's not willing to support people who were, are willing to die for it. And that's just outrageous. That's, that's Judge Sheila Calloway. Juvenile, she's a juvenile court judge in Davidson County. As far as I'm concerned, she's an enemy of every family in Davidson County. And uh, she's an enemy. She's an enemy to the Constitution. And I've sworn to support the Constitution and defend it against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And Sheila Calloway is supposed to have an eight-year term. And if she doesn't straighten up, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure she gets removed. Of course, what, what can I do? I'm just a mom. I can't do anything. But I hope people will wake up and look at what's going on and look at these people. They're steal they are stealing children. We're going to have, we're going to have a whole country in, in 20 or 30 more years. You've got, we've got all these drug problems. We've got all these marriage problems. We've got all these, all kinds of abuse, selfishness, corruption. Everywhere. It's going to get worse. It starts, we've got to have strong families. And these family court judges are destroying the families. And they're destroying the, fa the fabric of our country. So, even if you're not willing to be a martyr, don't discourage other people. The people who are willing to fight are the ones who are trying to give a hope to your children. I hope you realize that. If it's, and if you don't have children or grandchildren, your nieces, nephews, neighbors, every child is at risk. Every family is at risk of being attacked by the government. Don't wait until you become a victim.